Good day. So today we're going to take a look at the, uh, the Yamaha RN602 network receiver and uh, how to use it on the network. So I've had a, this radio or stereo receiver for a while now and never really had it on the network because of a couple problems. So one being that the, uh, the antenna that it came with was damaged. It's just a 2.4 gigahertz antenna and uh, it wasn't working. I wasn't getting uh, any real signal when I was uh, using it. So I borrowed the antenna off of my server here and it was working but it would drop out once in a while and that wasn't really working very well for the uh, radio because it would have gaps kind of like you're, if you're driving a serious radio and going through the mountains or something it would go out for a little bit so there was that and then I've also been using the regular radio with uh, rabbit ears and it have a similar problem like I'm kind of below grade here just uh, in a walkout basement and uh, so it wasn't reliable either so what I ended up doing was using a uh, wired internet connection with a network expander and uh, the reason for doing this is because this radio is 2.4 gigahertz and some of the cheap uh, routers that you get with uh, your cable or telephone company they broadcast the uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on the same SSID and the older 2.4 gigahertz equipment has a fit with that so uh, rather than having it dropping out and messing around I've just uh, gone ahead and done the uh, the wired ethernet and it works great now so I guess we'll give you some uh, examples here so you can use the uh, antenna or sorry the remote thinking something else or you can use the front of the uh, unit. I use the remote for the most part but once you're online it looks like you can use uh, the front panel fairly well. So I guess uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into setup. See if we can do this. So you'll see we have network, Bluetooth, max volume, initial volume, auto standby. So one thing I found out was that if you go into option you can use volume trim and this sets up the uh, sound for each input independently. So if you have some inputs that are quiet and some are loud you go into option and do the volume trim and it works really well so you can this is set to zero. I think you can go plus or minus 10, something like that. But uh, I've been really happy with that. But uh, to get back to what we were doing, so you press setup. If you were going to go into network, you could go connection, you could go wireless and this is already set up so you go manual settings you set up your SSID the security key that doesn't seem right yeah security key so this sorry I hit return instead of uh, you have to do it so there's upper and lower case and it's really painful to do this but once you do it once and you sign in it works so that's uh, the positive there so we'll just go back we're on uh, wired so just hit connect you have to wait a second it doesn't know that it's using a, a wireless expander, so that's good. You could do a, a network update now if you want. I did this uh, at the end of October 2020, and it actually did a, an update. There's something new in here. So anyway, now we're, we'll go into Tuner. And uh, 
it'll pull up the preset station that I, I listened to. So I'll turn the speaker on briefly here. So if you go with the display here, it can't get you any data, which was a complaint that I had the initial time when I did a review of this radio. So now, if we want to go to net radio, we can go through the inputs and uh, yeah, so you can use this uh, to go through the various types of things here, or you can use the up down button. So for radio, you can pick favorites. I assume there's a way you could save your favorites in there. And there's different genres. And what I was surprised by was for local stations, it must use your IP address and it knows all of the local stations. So I'm in the Kingston area right now. And this is what I was just listening to with the uh, rabbit ears. So you pick that. It'll take a minute for it to get the uh, sound to come through. But once it does, it's reliable. And now you can go to display, and if the if the radio station is programmed, it you can actually get information. In this case, it's blank, but it's a step above the regular radio, and the fact that you can actually get some kind of data over it. It seems like it's mostly just the station that uh, gets programmed. So I thought that was pretty positive. Now when you go into net, like there's other options here, right? I haven't set up any of these. And to be honest, well, server is uh, the actual server computer right here. I don't think there's any music set up on it right now. But I could be wrong. Let me actually bring something up. Okay, so it actually does have uh, a lot of things in it. I think it's playing. Maybe not. Yeah, it's coming on. So that's pretty good. So using the wired connection is nice and reliable. I don't know if there's a problem with the uh, radio. Like I got this at a pawn shop. It's quite possible that the uh, receiver was damaged. I know that the uh, this is damaged. It pulls apart. And the 2.4 gigahertz antennas are kind of finicky. If there is any issues with impedance, they're not going to work. The signal just bounces back. And then, uh, say this has got a problem, then on the back, the grounding is not too good either. It's a bit loose on the chassis. And I haven't tried to fix it. So uh, I'm happy with this and happy to show this. If there's anything else you want to see on this uh, radio receiver how to do, let me know and I'll do some research. There's been lots of people asking me if you can input audio through this port here directly off of a computer and I honestly don't know. If you tell me what parts to buy I can do that and give it a shot. And uh, But I think that that might be something that's more on the higher end model of this but I'm really happy with this radio. I'm probably going to continue buying Yamaha stereo receivers after getting this one. So uh, thank you for watching.